So, like I said, I found out I was perimenopausal. Like, I be diagnosing myself with shit all the time. I just go to the doctor and most of the time they confirm. I'm a heavy ass internet researcher. But, um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have been claiming menopause when I've been snapping off the last few months or so. But hey, I turned out to be right. Perimenopausal. So a lot of the stuff that I was um, entertaining, eating and, you know, little lifestyle changes, they line up perfectly with the diet to stop inflammation and stuff. Inflammation is a big thing. Uh, mood changes, uh, the bleeding every two weeks. I found out that's so common. Like, why is this information not out there? God damn it, this shit crazy. This information should be ready and available. Everybody should know when you hit a certain age, you're gonna be start bleeding every two weeks. Bitch, you're perimenopausal, get help. <laughs> but, um... The one thing, like I was trying to stay away from the meats, but they're suggesting, you know, certain meats to keep the protein up. So I found the heck. Today, I'm going to do some lentil rice, but I'm gonna use this beef bone broth concentrate. I know bone broth is a beast as far as keeping you healthy and immunity and stuff. So I can leave out the, the meat meat, eating it directly, but like I said, I wasn't trying to go vegan anyway, but all right, I got my water. I'm about to go ahead and soak these lentils so I can make this lentil rice. I'm also gonna do some lentil sprouts. I'm gonna record it. My kitchen ain't clean yet, y'all, so I'm not in there. I'm in the living room, I'm about to soak this stuff. After I get my kitchen clean, I'll be back. Bye.